Hey guys, I just got this immersion heater in town for two dollars and some change. These are usually like twenty dollars, and it's a two hundred watt heater. It's one hundred twenty volts, one hundred ten volts, two hundred watt heater, and I'm going to experiment and see if I can use my uh, power inverter and obviously power of the sun, power inverters down under there somewhere, to heat up my coffee. And if this thing works, I'm, I'm actually going to run do one dry run with just a cup of water and then dump that out to cleanse anything that might be on the, the metal. But if this works, then I can literally use a solar panel and a power inverter to directly cook anything liquid like heat up a can of soup or my coffee or tea or whatever and start saving some money so let's see what happens here okay I'm gonna put this in a uh, cup and I'm gonna fill it to where's the level here there's a submersion level on there actually somewhere low level high level right here just to the top of the element I want to fill it with some water which I happen to have here with me just to the top of that mark okay actually it fills the cup right up I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna see how long it takes to heat this water up now my power is it was at 138 watts now it jumped up to 220 watts 230 and we got a bubble come out already jumped from 130 some odd watts to 230 so it only jumped up 100 watts power on my um, solar panels we're still in absorption mode wow so we're still in absorption mode and only pulling a hundred watts of power right now at this time. Interesting. The uh, power inverter cooling fan is kicking on though. Let's see how long it takes to boil. We're gonna do this live right here with you guys and see how long it takes to bring that to a boil. Cooling fan in the inverter is running on and off so it's not really a lot of power pulling through it I can see bubbles forming and you can see water the water is getting warmer I don't think it'll take very long to heat up a cup of water to be honest Oh no, I can feel it. It's getting warm already, especially near the top, funny enough. The top is warmer than the bottom, which makes sense, of course, because hot water rises. Yeah, it's warm to touch. It's getting warm. So, I think instead of firing up the gas stove all the time to make a cup of coffee, and using energy like that, I can run power straight off the solar panels and have essentially free energy for heating and cooking. And also we do have that induction, induction stove, that induction cooker that we can start using in the house once I get the solar panels going over there and occasionally we could cook out here. Uh, nice warmer weather times and periods we can just cook right off the induction cooker. So I might bring that out here have sort of like an outdoor kitchen area out here with that well, outdoor when we're cooking put it inside when we're done well it is heating and we're only still only using 100 watts now that's rated for 200 watts of power but I'm only pulling 100 watts off the solar panels because we're still in absorption mode 
Of course, I've got right now 600 watts total capacity. So this isn't going to really phase that at all. So it should be easy to stay in absorption mode. That's getting warmer. It's starting to get there. It's getting hot to the touch up, to, up top. Of course, I am outdoors too in a very cold room, so that's going to affect performance greatly. It's only 40 degrees outside, so it's probably 30 something in the workshop at this time. So that's definitely going to affect the performance of this. <clears throat> so when it's uh, warmer weather, or if you're indoors, I'm sure the heating time will be about half of what we got going on right now. I see steam coming up. I see a little bit of steam coming up. So what I want to do is bring this to a boil and see how long it takes to boil the water live while I'm talking to you. I hope I don't bore you here. But this is a really cool experiment to see if I can heat and cook directly off solar power. And if this works, <clears throat> I'll probably get another one of these just to have on hand for that price. I mean, $2, that's nothing for this. And then, I could actually, if I want to cook real fast, I could put two of these, or even three, into a larger pot to heat up water faster. And I might actually try that out. Because like I said, I have 600 watts of solar panels hooked up right now. So I have a lot of playroom with uh, available energy coming into my off-grid shop. So imagine just anything that you want to heat up that you could heat on the stove, you could do with this. Anything that's, more, that's liquid enough. Now they do have roadside uh, appliances that plug into the, your truck at the truck stops at the roadside truck stops and I have been considering stuff like that as well for off-grid living yeah the cold air is definitely affecting the, the heating time of this it's hot at the top it's still cooler at the bottom but we're still only pulling 100 watts which surprises me and the power cord probably isn't as cool to touch. <clears throat> well, we have steam. We do have steam coming up. A lot more bubbles. Hope you can see that in there. I hate to find out when I start editing the video that it was all for nothing and you couldn't see what I was looking at. It's getting hotter. I want to see a real good rolling boil. Now, I was also thinking, I could fashion a hot water heater like this, obviously. 200 watts um, would take a long time, but imagine, you're only gonna shower once a day per person. So, if you could have this running directly off a solar panel, uh, it really gives me, it shows me the possibilities for heating water for bathing in the house, just off the power of the sun. Obviously, you're going to be heating a lot larger container, so it's going to take longer, but put a couple of heating elements in a larger container, and hook it straight up to two, three solar panels and we've got hot water for free. There we got a boil starting. Now it's starting. We're still only up to... Uh, now we're pulling about 110 to 120 watts 
the power. It appears that maybe it runs and uses more energy as it gets hotter. Because I'm pulling 250 watts off the TriStar and 14 watts off the um, Renogy. Yes, Melanie? I can't hear you whisper from across the yard. Oh, okay. I'll be there in a few minutes. We're just seeing how long it takes to heat up this water. See it steaming already? How are you going to boil me? Yeah. Well, I'm, I want to bring it to a boil. It's starting to. I was hoping to show people live how long it takes. But it takes a few minutes. It takes quite a few minutes. But then again, it's cold out here. It's very cold. So the... Um, well, that's hot. Feel it. It's really hot to touch. Um, the, the air is very cold in here. It's colder than outdoors. So that affects the time to heat this up. There's air. There's cold air blowing in. And it probably was about 30 degrees in here when I opened it up. So in the house, where it's warmer, I'm thinking it would work a lot faster. But I'm looking here, I'm only pulling. 120 watts of power uh, above what it was pulling before and the batteries are still topped off mm -hmm. so very exciting Where it's, boiling. it's starting to boil for a cup of coffee that would be hot enough for me mm, what's that oh you like the show yeah oh Melanie hasn't seen this place have you mm -hmm. since I got all the way back to there you like it? Yeah. I'm very satisfied with how it looks. I hope to finish this entire wall today. And then build my um, my workbench. Well guys, I am going to pause the camera at this moment. We do have it starting to come to a full boil. It's starting to, but I don't want to bore you to death. You can see the time for yourself here how long it took to get boiling this cup of water in a very cold environment very very cold I am gonna let it get to a rolling boil but indoors it would have already been doing so in a warmer situation so it works free absolutely free energy for heating my coffee which I'm gonna do next Alright guys, I've waited another 3-4 minutes and it looks like what you see is what you get. Um, I don't think in this extreme cold air, I'm probably not going to hit a rolling boil. But I just went into float mode on the battery bank while this was boiling. It's still pulling power and it went into float mode. So the batteries aren't even seeing this thing very much at all. It's quite amazing. So I'm going to um, empty that out, pull the plug. Uh, obviously for safety, you want to pull the plug first before you take the element out of the water. Otherwise you'll fry your element, okay? And then I'm going to empty this water and put clean water in and make myself a cup of coffee. All right, I've got my cup of water going for my coffee and we are still in float mode we've jumped up to a hundred watts coming in but we're still in float mode so this is nothing for these solar panels in this battery bank to run this little water heater so that's uh, definitely a good th sign hey right, guys I've got my coffee brewer here I'm gonna pour away from the woods so forgive me for a minute Okay, there's my coffee brewer. I'm going to let that brew for a few minutes. And then uh, I will have a fine cup of coffee. So that's a really neat brewer I got as a gift from somebody a while back. A year, two years ago. About two years, I think, you know. It was before I was married. I was single. And uh, it's really cool because it's almost like a French press in the way it makes coffee. You put the coffee grounds in a filter, and it sits there and, and contains it. 
And when it's brewed, you sit that on top of your coffee cup and it opens the valve and allows the brewed coffee to go in to your cup. So it's an off-grid brewer. Here I have a fully off-the-grid brewing system for coffee. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right. Put this in my cup and the coffee flows in. And then I add a little bit of water as well as I go. Oh, spilling on my wood. Oh, it's a workshop. That's why I got cheap wood. I always had a little bit more hot water because that doesn't hold a full cup of coffee for me. My size cup of coffee. And let that uh, come on down. Once it's done draining in, see, it drains right on into the cup now. I'll have a cup of coffee made by the power of the sun. Well, guys, you've all heard of sun tea. I'm leaning down because my camera's too low. Well, I just invented sun coffee. Coffee made by the power of the sun. tastes so much better because it costs zero energy to make this. At least it costs me nothing. This is the good way, a very good way to start out the off-grid workshop. Sun coffee. Alright guys, try from a do-it-yourself world in the off-grid project and a free energy cup of coffee. This is the life.